Hey friends, welcome back to On3. I'm Jason Salyer and today we're going to talk about how to start being fit. How to start yourself in the direction of fitness. And I'm in my tree house right now cleaning it up because the kids and I are going to spend the night out here getting it all cleaned up and ready to go so we can, uh, we can have a fun night out here. Um, my background is primarily in strength and conditioning. I've spent over a decade training athletes and soldiers on principles of fitness, how to get fitter, how to condition their bodies for the task at hand, for the task that they might, might be employed to do. Um, and one of the questions that I get a lot um, is how to get started, basically. How to get myself going in the direction of being operationally ready, operationally fit. Uh, functionally fit for whatever life may throw at you. To answer it simply, the way to get started is just to start moving. Just start moving. Get your body going from point A to point B, whether that be walking or jogging or whatever it is, just do something. Start with basic body weight calisthenics. Start with push-ups and squats and lunges and things of that nature and start really, really slow, really, really easy. Don't rush into it because it didn't take you, uh, you know, a week to get out of shape. It's not going to take you a week to get into shape. That way you can avoid any injuries. And if you get injured, then you have to take time off and you, the, your fitness level is just going to just drop through, drop through the floor. And set yourself small, obtainable goals. And what that means is something that's going to take you, say, well, for example, um, it takes me 20, currently, it takes me 21 minutes, I tested it yesterday, 21 minutes to run to the top of the mountain behind my house and back. 21 minutes. Um, because it's just outrageously steep. It's only a couple miles, but man, it is, it is terrible. <laughs> um, my goal that I've set for myself, eight weeks from now, I'm going to retest that. Exactly eight weeks from now, I'm going to rerun that, and I'm going to do it in 19 minutes or less. So I'm going to subtract two minutes off of that. And I'm going to do that whether it kills me or not, I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna accomplish that goal, and then I'm gonna move on to the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. And that just keeps me moving forward, not only physically, but mentally I don't get bored because I'm always pushing for something new. Um, my training is varying. It, this, I don't wanna say specificity because I'm not training you know, specifically for that one thing necessarily. I'm still doing general physical preparedness, but I, I am, shifting my training towards that kind of direction and that keeps me mentally interested and that's going to allow me to work harder because intensity by far more than anything else is the most important factor when it comes to improving your fitness getting the results that you want it's not duration it's not how how long you go out and, and run it's not um it's not how many repetitions you do it's not uh not, not, it's not even the exercise in particular that you're doing, it's how hard you're working. Hard work gives you good results, and just like everything else in life. Fitness is no different. The harder you work, the more intense your training is, the better your results will be. So in conclusion, start very, very slowly based on your current fitness levels. Start slow and gradually increase the intensity as you go because that intensity is what's going to give you the results that you're looking for. Set yourself small, incremental, obtainable goals and make sure that you meet those goals. Be consistent. Make sure you meet those goals before you move on to the next one. I'm Jason Salyer. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.